Let's take a look at the average chemical composition of the Earth's crust, hydrosphere, and troposphere. This table can be found on page 1 of the Earth Science Reference Tables. Before we look at the chart itself, though, let's break down the title of the chart so that we better understand what we're looking at. This chart is called the average chemical composition, which refers to what something is made up of. And we're going to be looking at the crust, which is the solid outer shell of the Earth, the hydrosphere, which is the liquid water that's on Earth, and the troposphere, which is the shell of gases that surrounds the Earth. It's the lower part of the atmosphere. So let's look at the actual table, and we'll notice that it's very simple. It's made up of four columns showing different information, starting with the first column, which shows us the common elements that exist on Earth. And you'll recognize things like oxygen and silicon, iron and nitrogen. These are common materials found both within the rocks and the solid materials of the Earth, but also in the liquid water and the gases that we breathe. Let's take a look at the next column. This is going to refer to the Earth's crust, or the solid outer shell of the Earth. And we can view this elements broken down by mass or by volume. Let's first look at the breakdown by mass. Now remember, mass is another way of saying essentially weight. So we're looking at all of the elements that make up the crust, sorted by how much they actually weigh, or what percentage of the whole their weight represents. So if we were to draw this in a pie chart, we would see that oxygen and silicon coming in at 46.1 and 28.2% respectively make up the vast majority of the mass of the Earth's crust. If we look at it by volume, however, we see a slightly different picture. There's much less silicon and much more oxygen as far as percentages go. And that has to do with the relative weights of those elements. If we look at these two pie charts side by side, what we see is that there are some distinct differences depending on whether we're looking at the crust based on the mass of the elements making it up or the volume. So you need to be very careful when dealing with questions on this to notice whether they're asking about mass or volume. Let's take a look at the next area, which is the hydrosphere. Remember, the hydrosphere is the liquid water on Earth, and we all know that water is H2O, or two parts hydrogen, represented by 66% here in our pie chart and our table, one part oxygen, shown by 33%, and then a little bit of other, and that represents the other elements that exist in the water on Earth. Finally, let's look at the air we breathe, the lower part of the atmosphere known as the troposphere. Now there's a bit of a uh, misunderstanding here, as most people think the air we breathe is oxygen, when in reality, if you look at this pie chart and these numbers, 78% of the troposphere is actually nitrogen, with only 21%, less than quarter of it, representing oxygen. And then of course there are some other things mixed in, like CO2 and water vapor and various other gases. So this chart is very simple to read. It simply tells us how much of each element is making up each of the crust, hydrosphere, and troposphere. Let's take a look at a sample question. This question was taken from a Regents exam, and it says, according to the reference tables, the most abundant gas in the troposphere is. Now, there are a couple words we have to pay attention to in order to make sense of this question. The first is abundant. This is a word we see very often on Regents exams, and it basically means most common or ex existing in the largest amounts. So we're looking for an abundant gas in the troposphere. So I automatically know I need to look at the troposphere column, and I need to look at the numbers here. And what I see is oxygen is 21%. Nitrogen is 78, and then other is 1%. And so if I want the most abundant gas, I'm looking for the largest percentage, which in this case is clearly 78%. And so my answer would be nitrogen. Let's take a look at one more sample question. This one says, oxygen is the most abundant element by volume in the Earth's what? Now again, let's break down the question, and we see that word abundant again. And in this case, we're referring to oxygen. So we want to know in which of these spheres is oxygen most abundant by volume. 
So if I look at my columns, I can immediately cancel out this column of the crust because that's percent by mass, and we're being asked about volume here. So I'm going to cross that out. We're not even going to look at that. I know it's going to be one of the other three columns to look at. And we want to look at oxygen. And so I see that in the crust, it's at 94%. In the hydrosphere, it's 33%, and in the troposphere, it's 21%. So if we're looking for most abundant, again, like the previous question, we're looking for the highest number. And so in that case, it's going to be this 94.04. And so the answer would be Earth's crust. And that's a quick look at the Earth Science Reference Table's average chemical composition of Earth's crust, troposphere, and hydrosphere. Music